a rock out of the water. And with that rock, he takes down Goliath, a nine foot tall giant with six fingers. Right? How lonely did he feel? I have no support. I got an entire nation here. Not my family. Not the nation. No support. Okay, nobody thinks I matter. In fact, they even said, well, if we lose a boy, what have we lost? You know, a giant killed a boy. But if he won, you know, it was all about greed. But if he wins, we'll go and destroy him. But we all know God is with us. Right? How lonely could he have felt? Where do you look at them Psalms? <laughs> all the enemies and all the wickedness and all the things. Everything on this earth is coming to devour me. Because everything on this earth says, I don't matter. You told me I love you. And then you abused me. My dad said he loved me and he said he abused me. Everything in this earth says, I don't matter. Did David go down there into that field of battle and say, hey, I don't care if I die or not. No, I don't matter. Might as well just go out with a flame. No, no, no. In fact, Goliath. Representing like the devil coming into the, your mind, right? right? Did, did David say, hey, at first, hey, hold on, Goliath. I got to go back here, get God, and then we're going to bring God with it. And, 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 no. Goliath said, what did you send this, this good-looking boy over here for? He's all rudy and good-looking. And he's a boy. What do you think? I'm a dog and going to just kill and devour children? But, since you're so stupid and sent him, I'm going to feed your flesh to the birds of the air, to the fields of the beasts, and everything on it. You'll be devoured this day by my might, my sword. I shall kill you. David says, I don't know. not by might, not by sword. But because you have defiled the living God. You have disrespected the living God. But the name of the living God. I'm going to destroy you this day. And it is you, my friend. Who will be eaten by the birds and devoured here on earth. For God is with me. And the whole world is going to know today. That there's a God on earth. And he loves those who are faithful to him. Faithful to him. And he bashed him in the head with the rock and he fell down immediately. He had no weapon of war. He goes and grabs him by his own sword. And he takes off his head. And everybody out there who had no support for him. Rush down into the valley. Destroy the Philistines. Destroy the lies. The liars. The sins. Sometimes in our loneliness, we come to an age in life. For I'll believe a man. But I don't believe God. Tells the woman, go get the people. Woman runs to the town and she's so excited to tell everybody there in the town. This guy knows everything about my life and he told me everything I need to know. Come on, I, I think he could be the man. He could be the Messiah. He could be that guy who's going to unveil all truth to us. Buddy's gone. 
12 disciples come walking out. They didn't even question him about talking to the woman. Lord, let's go eat lunch. They left so they could get lunch for him. I don't need no lunch. I got food. He know nothing about. My food is to do the work of God. Right? One sows and another reaps. God being the reaper and the sower. <laughs> She goes, tells everybody, and they believed her. They believed her. From her witness, from her testimony, they believed her. An old town came up. Here, let me give you some life-giving water. <laughs> Those who believe in God worship Him in spirit and truth. Never alone. Never alone. And when she believed, I'm never alone. I have a husband called Jesus Christ. Come and meet my husband. Go oh, down came. Because she believed, I'm never alone. She overcame. She overcame. And them six dead husbands overcame trying to seek out Jesus in a place where he cannot be found. He lives in my heart. He lives in your heart. The kingdom of heaven is within us. It's within us. It's within us. Right? Jesus. Why does it give us the chance to, to come together to know each other, to meet each other? Whenever it is the Holy Spirit, the Comforter of God, doing His work through us to, to gather us together to see we're not alone. This is God's work. Not the work of men, but the work of God. We are not alone. And we do matter. We all matter. You know, I want to recognize Angelica. Very nice to meet you. And Jesus will bless you. And Giada, many blessings by God. You know, that's the thing. How, how great is it to have God? He does make miracles. He does provide things. You're a wonderful witness to those miracles. Yes, God, he wants to reign the love. He wants to be the love of our life. Love God with all your heart, might, and soul. Not me. Love God with all your heart, might, and soul. God is those, God is the loving force in, in the middle. In, in the middle of everything. Gathering everybody back to, 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 to him, to, to a place of love to a place of compassion and care. I'm just a, 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 an image that, that brings comfort to you. Just an, you know, I'm a, I'll fail you. I'm a man. And the birds of the air and the beasts of the field are going to eat my body. But my faith in Jesus Christ cannot be devoured. It can't be touched. And you can't live on my faith. You gotta live by your own, your own faith. Woman, your faith has healed you. Woman, your faith will heal you. It has healed you. You're free. 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 You matter. The lilies matter to God. And they grow because they matter. And you matter. He gave you knowledge of Him. 
You know, Larissa, I want to say thank you. And, and yeah, you know, that's the thing. Anytime two or more gather together, you know, miracles happen. We, we come to an agreement and God's will. And then, you know, Jesus is there. Jesus is there. He's going to answer your prayer. Do anything in faith in Jesus and it'll be done. How wonderful is it to see those miracles? How comforting is it to know? Yeah. I have God right here with me, and I see it right here in my world, and I'm a part of it. And we are part of that together. How wonderful is it to know God is very real, and He exists. He exists. And he exists through our love, through our communication of love. While you're sitting there typing, it's like holy ground. <laughs> Even to them grouchy, nasty people that come in and want negative things, you know, and just want to argue and debate with you, they are lonely. They're lonely. And they'll take anything you got to offer, even if it's negative. Because they, too, were grown up in an abusive life. And they think that it's okay. That's why kids who miss out in, in the teachings and instructions of God for the first 13 years of their life, that's where the bar mitzvah comes from. Right? Through all the first 13 years, there's five books, five books. What are you going to get out of the five books? If you could get out the rock of God like David and faith and integrity and character and knowing and have knowledge of what it is to be, be a good person and to see one coming in the door. All of a sudden, 13 year olds, we, we go to junior high school. Wicked little kids, aren't they? Why? Because everything they were taught had nothing to do with being taught how to be a good person. You remove the Bible and you remove the teachings and instructions of how to be a good person. Not only how to be one, but what to recognize one. Now that I don't know, because I wasn't taught that way, I don't know what one looks like. I love you. There it is. That's it. That's it. Love isn't boastful. <laughs> love is humble. Love doesn't brag. Right? Love is gentle. All those things. Sometimes in our loneliness and in our in our life of seeking love and that in dark places, we hurt people along the way. Not only do I get hurt, my children get hurt, my family gets hurt. God made it and gave you family. God made it and gave you that family. Sometimes we gotta forgive. We gotta forgive their hate for hating us for what we did to them. We didn't raise you in the teachings and instructions of God. So all you learned, all you absorbed, was the hate of this world. Now you live in it. Jesus says, I absorbed all the hate of this world. I want you to do the same for me. And forgive. Through forgiveness and love. 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 Your loneliness will be taken away. Memories. Devil uses. I want to use all the memories I got to, to, to hurt you. Might not have seen my grandbabies in, in, in many years. It hurts. All of us. I know it hurts you. I ain't seen my daughter and my son, and, and they don't even care. In the years. And I know it hurts you. Jesus Christ hasn't seen, you haven't seen him yet, and he's hurting. He's aching out for all of us. I, I pray that, that love and forgiveness would open your heart. Just to see you're not alone. Sometimes those bad choices in life 
How can God live with me? Just me and God. And I do dirty. But I see you're clean. And you can have a connection with him. And because you have a connection with him and I have a connection with you, I can have a connection with God. Can't. Can't. God's seeking worshipers of spirit and truth. Those who love him. Those who love him. God is seeking unity. Right? Forgiveness, love, and, and unity. And we can love ourselves enough to love them. God is there in the middle. He's the loving will, the loving force. That's the thing. He's there. He's there with you. Never alone. He wants you to make up with those you love. I give you a sword and your enemies are going to be in your own household. What are you going to do with that sword? Destroy them? Or love them? Jesus says, I want you to love your enemies as you would yourself. I want you to pray for them who are persecuting you. I want you to, to pray that, that, that God would deliver you out of that, 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 that loneliness. Right? You all know. You know, I like to say thank you to Bonnie, I, I see, and, and we all feel rejected, right? Jesus was one of the most rejected people on earth. They, they could cheer in, in your rejection. It is God who has brought this world to reject you. So that you would find out that, that he, there is no rejection in him. He's so greater than them. This world. Right? Also want to recognize Mr. Puffner, you know. I, I see you out there. I see all of you. You guys can talk and say hello once in a while. And, and Sylvia, or, you know, I think that's your name. At the, in my, uh, whatever it is, your group there. And, and Angel. Right? That's the thing. In the name of my father, whatever, the group. Oh, you. My Mr. Name. Let me know. Tell me. How would know you by name? With the kids. And the grief. You know, that's the thing. Don't, don't, don't. Excuse my, my love and try and fulfill your, your fleshly desire. We are here, and that's the thing with Google is, is we're finding out this is really a spiritual thing. A spirit thing. God has removed the flesh. In the Google world, he's removed all the things of the world. And all we got is our little fingers and our spirit. Dwelling there. And that's God's spirit that, that brings us together so that we can feel his love. We can see it. We can experience it. And, and what he desires is for us to take that and, and use that with these other people. Sometimes they're negative. I don't want to talk to this negative jerk. Do you know he's lonely? Stop debating with the guy and ask him, how was your day today? <laughs> how are you doing, buddy? You got any kids? Feel that time. With love and, and mercy. That's what they're desiring. That's what they desire. All I know is negativity. You know, you miss out on them in teachings and instructions for the 13 years. At 33. 33. Oh. Wow. The Lord comes in and, and, and takes you for a walk through the wilderness. 
See, through them teachings and instructions of God, you can learn those things through His Word. Or if you don't, the Spirit comes and teaches you on your, on your, with you and God. And until you lift up your eyes and recognize God, it could be a bumpy ride. It is God's will that no man be left behind. That's God's will. Sometimes we're worried that, that, that I got to go and, oh, mighty God, they're living in sin. Oh! Fella, fella, stop going. And relax, guys. Hey, Jesus Christ conquered sin of the world. The, the reason this world is not destroyed because God's mercy is so great, He's waiting for you to believe in Him. <laughs> okay? He's waiting for you to not feel lonely anymore. Because you matter to Him. Jesus says, it's like this, man. I found this pearl. It was so sweet. I bought the whole field so I could have that pearl. Didn't you know you're the pearl? He said, you are such a fine pearl. You. I gave up everything. I bought it. I took all my inheritance and I had an eternal inheritance given to me by God and the authority of all creation. And I took all of that and I bought you. 